Hello and welcome to my first look at issue 50 of the Warhammer 40,000 Imperium magazine. Another excellent issue following the stupendous issue 49. For £8.99, it's pretty much including the Necrons Royal Court. Uh, which is £70 on Games Workshop's website. Yes, you heard me correct. A £70 sprue, <laughs> I guess, for £9. Uh, if you haven't got this, you need to rush out and buy this um, magazine. Uh, I already have them because obviously I've got them in the Dominion box set. Um, but yes, that's one of the best savings you'll get, along with actually issue 49. So although we've had a dud issue of two paints, these two issues more than make up for the last sort of two months of dud issues. Um, so fantastic issue already, um, just comparing the, the uh, price point, um, because it's good when they, when they do this, when they have the sprue or the units, and they sell them separately on Games Workshop's website, especially for that amount of money. I mean, yeah. Let's unwrap this and have a look at uh, the magazine, first of all, and then the, uh, the sprue. Um, okay. So, um, issue 50 then. It talks about the Canoptech Reanimator. Nice to have a few of them now. Uh, you've got the Matriarchs, so Adeptus Sororitas, it jumps into uh, Order of the Sacred Rose, uh, the Ebon Chalice Order, and how to build the Royal Court. Um, quite straightforward, uh, really. Um, you might have a couple of issues with the Plasmancer. You know, we haven't got yet got to the uh, flayed ones, I don't think, but they're pretty difficult to put together. One of the hardest kits, I think. So, and the reanimator, you shouldn't really have any issues. It's, you know, goes together quite nicely. Um, how to paint the Royal Court. They go for the Rune Lord Brass and the Armaché Gloss and then the Abaddon Black, the Lead Belcher. Some white and some red and some flesh shade even. Some Stormhouse Silver for the side details. Um, and then you've got the rules for the Canoptic reanimator. You've got a tutorial reanimation kind of mission scout mission raise the destroyer lord and then a look at the next two issues unfortunately 51 is a dud issue avoid that one because it's like five pound fifty um but issue 52 triarch stalker part one and two is in issue 52 and 53 it's a shame it's a shame that they didn't put the triarch stalker in one issue, it's spread over two, but at least those two issues are uh, back to back. Now, a Triarch Stalker typically will cost you £35. If your maths cat inclined, that would be £18. So you're saving £17. With a 20% discount, you're only gonna be sa saving seven, so that's 28. So you are saving a tenner, even over third party. So that's another great issue. Definitely not as fantastic as the Royal Court uh, or the uh, Sisters of Battle issue, but it's still um, saving you a tenner. Unfortunately, you're then losing four pound of that tenner uh, on those two paints. So there is that. You've always got to kind of factor that into play. Um, let's have a look at the sprue itself then. You get a couple of big bases for the reanimator and for the Lord, Scorpet Lord. Um, you get the three... I think 32 mil bases, they might be 28. Um, and then you've got all of the miniatures themselves. It's a lovely sprue, lovely kit, some gorgeous models on here. And um, this takes me back two years ago from the Dominion. Um, my, my excitement of building my first Necron models. I can't remember, I think I did get some Necron models in the start collecting set. So maybe they weren't first, but they were definitely my first brand new Necron models. Um, you know, fresh off of the injection mold. Uh, but yeah, you've got the reanimator, the plasmancer, um, the thralls, yeah, the reanimator there, plasmancer there, you know, bits and bobs of the Scorpec Lord. Um, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, lovely sprue, lovely issue in magazine. Um, what do you guys think? 
uh, of this issue. Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Silent King protects.